Question 15. This table shows the weight of some fruits and vegetables. Complete the table. So we've got potatoes, apples, grapes and ginger. And we've got a column for grams and a column for the equivalent weight in kilograms. Now what we need to remember is that one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. And this will be crucial. So let's start thinking about place value. Well, if we're dealing with kilograms, then... In our amounts of kilograms, we've got units in tenths in this 3.5, units in tenths in 1.2, and units tenths and hundredths in 0.03. So we're going from units to tenths to one hundredths. So what we need to remember is that if we write grams across the top, is that in this column for units, if I had a 1 in that column, 1 unit in kilograms would actually be the same as 1,000 grams. One tenth of a kilogram is if you take 1,000 grams and split it into 10. So one tenth of 1,000 grams would be 100 grams. And one hundredth of a kilogram would be the same as one hundredth of 1,000 grams. So if you take a thousand and split it into a hundred pieces, you get ten grams. So one unit kilogram is a thousand grams, one tenth of a kilogram is a hundred grams, and one hundredth of a kilogram is ten grams. Now that will help us when we start looking at this here. So the first one, we've got 3.5 kilograms. So we've got 3.5 kilograms. And that shows us why it's 3,500, because we've got 3 in the thousands, which is 3,000, and we've got 5 in the hundreds, which is 500, which is why it's 3,500. Now if we look at apples, which is 1.2, we've got 1.2 kilograms, that's 1 in the thousands column and 2 in the hundreds, so it's 1,200. So this one here is 1,200 grams. For grapes, it's 250. So, if we now switch colour to the pink, because pink is for grams, so we've been told it's 250 grams. So, we're looking at the hundreds here, so it's, so it's 250. Well, 50 would be 5 tens. So, we need 5 in the tens column there, so 200s. The five tens looking at the pink so that's 250 grams all we need to do now to turn it back into kilograms is put the decimal point in and we've got no thousands we've got no thousands because it's less than a thousand so no thousands is there like that so it's actually 0 0.25 kilograms so that's what needs to go in here another way of looking at it is that 250 grams is a quarter of a thousand so 250 grams is one quarter of a thousand and a quarter of a thousand a quarter as a fraction is the same as 0 0.25 so a quarter is 0 0.25 so that's another way you could have looked at it for the final one we're being told that ginger is 0 0.03 kilograms. So we've got 0 0.03 like that. Now if you check it against the grams, we've got no thousands, no hundreds, and three tens. Now three tens, a three in the tens column, is 30. Three tens of 30. So this must be 30 grams. And that's everything explained. Now normally you would spend a f quite a few lessons converting between grams and kilograms. So what I've tried to do here is explain the whole thing in about five minutes. Okay, but you've just got to remember that one unit of a kilogram is 1,000 grams. A tenth of a kilogram is 100 grams. And a hundred of a kilogram is 10 grams. So if you get the things in the appropriate columns, you can use that to help.